Well, good Saturday morning to everybody. Kind of a cloudy day, but that's okay. We've had some, some good days and we've got some better days ahead of us. So we're reading through the Psalms today. And um, I think it's the last of the Psalms that we'll be reading through. And, and uh, what a course of, of, of praise. Thanking God for what He's done and, and who He is. And you can almost imagine the throngs and throngs of people all around that temple, all gathered in, all the sacrifices that are going on, the singing that's going on, the, the multitude, the, the, the thankfulness, uh, recognizing that Israel exists only because of Yahweh. Uh, it's just amazing stuff. And in, in our life, when we stop and we think of, of who He is and, and uh, what He's done, and uh, how ungrateful sometimes we are, but we have those brilliant moments where we remember and, and we give thanks and, and we rejoice and we, we celebrate. And it, it's in those moments that, uh, that we really uh, are overcome by His presence. And, and that should be a telltale sign for us that it's, it's, when, it's when we take that, that position of humility that I didn't build my own life. The, the Lord is responsible for this. It's by His blessings, by His love, by, by His might, by His strength. That, that this has all been done. And as we realize how blessed we are, we gotta understand the responsibility that he's given to us. I, he, he, his Father's heart is revealed in these, these Psalms as we, we read about, um, uh, you know, he, he, how he defends the defenseless and, and uh, he looks after the orphans and, and the widows and, and the, the immigrants and, and, the, and the, the sick and, and the lame and, and all that, and that, that he's there for them. He's there for them. He's their father. He looks after them. He, he, he especially, um, it, it's the reason why when Jesus walked through the crowd, you know, he, he reached out to those who are in need because uh, it's the father's heart. It's, we see it all through the, the Old Testament. Uh, we see it in the life of Jesus. Um, this, is, this is who he is. It's, it's who we are supposed to be. We're supposed to bring his brilliant love uh, to the unlovable. We're supposed to bring his brilliant love to those who have never tasted it. Excuse me, mosquito. <laughs> um, we're, we're supposed to bring that, that, that love, uh, that incredible love, uh, to those that uh, forgotten the taste of it it's been so long and that's what we do and yeah that's the purpose for our day today find those who are who need that love a touch a smile an act of kindness uh, it, it's incredible how it opens the doors and uh, it's a manifestation of the Lord's love through us. And it's love that moves. It's, it's relationships that move. Um, we can do all kinds of miracles, but if there's no relationship, uh, there's gonna, it, nothing's going to happen. We can preach the, gress, the best sermons, but if there's no relationship, nothing's going to happen. Uh, we can have the best social programs being run out of our out of our churches, but if there's no relationship, that comes from that love and what's the use so be brilliant today engage with somebody today talk with them hear them listen to them and uh, then you'll know how to show the Lord's love to them God bless